Hello guys, it's Teacher Alam once again, and for today we will be brushing up or we will be reviewing science concepts to help students prepare for college entrance examinations such as the UPCAT and the ASAT. Should you like my video, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, or just drop a note in the comment section below. In preparing for college entrance examinations, you may consider enrolling in review centers, but if you do not have funds or do not have the time, my channel is perfect for you. I'm willing to share all my resources because I also want you to succeed. So I will read each question and I will flash it for 5 seconds. If you do not want to hear the audio, you may then mute the video. If you need more time in answering, go ahead pause the video. You may also take notes as you go along, especially those items which you find challenging. So now, let's get to business. Question number 1. Which of the following is or are true about light? 1. Light travels in a straight line. 2. Light is an electromagnetic wave. 3. Light needs a medium so it can travel. 4. Light consists of photons that carry energy. Letter A. 1, 2, and 3. B. 2, 3, and 4. C. 1, 2, and 4. D. 1, 3, and 4. The correct answer is letter C. Light does not need a medium so it can travel. Light can travel through a vacuum. Number 2. Martha needs to measure 53 ml of hydrochloric acid. What is the best laboratory tool that she can use to measure the said quantity? A. Beaker B. Dropper C. Graduated cylinder D. Volumetric flask The correct answer is letter C, graduated cylinder. The best tool to measure liquid in this instance in which we are measuring 53 ml of liquid is a graduated cylinder. Graduated cylinders have a smaller width than beakers. This is why a beaker is better for steering and mixing liquids. But for measuring volumes, like in this example, a graduated cylinder is used. Meanwhile, volumetric flasks are used for dilutions and preparation of solutions. Question number 3. In an experiment, the variables that are kept the same in the experiment and control setups are called A. Constant B. Dependent C. Independent D. Responding For this part, you have to review the three types of variables used in scientific experiments. The first variable is called the independent variable. It is the one that is manipulated or changed. The second type of variable is the one that is observed or measured in the investigation or in the experiment and it is known as the dependent variable. The other variable is the constant variable which is the one which scientists keep constant so that they can know whether changing or manipulating the independent variable would have an effect on the dependent variable. Question number 4. Remora fish have a disc on their heads that makes them able to attach to sharks and whales. What relationship is seen between the remora fish and the larger animals? A. Mutualism B. Parasitism C. Predator-prey relationship and D. Commensalism The correct answer is letter D. So here you have to review your um, lesson on symbiotic relationships. For mutualism, this is the kind of symbiotic relationship wherein both organisms benefit. This is also called the give and take relationship. For parasitism, it is one where one organism benefits and the other is harmed. So the organism which benefits is called the parasite and the one which is harmed is called the host. For commensalism, for letter D, this is the relationship wherein one benefits but the other organism is not harmed. In this example, the remora fish benefits from the shark, but the shark is not in any way harmed from the relationship. The shark is called the host and the remora fish is called the commensal. Question number 5. An unknown substance was added to water and it was observed that the pH increased. The substance is most probably A or an a. Acid B. Base C. Element D. Solvent The correct answer is letter B. 
This topic is under chemistry, so let's recall that adding an acid would decrease the pH of the substance or solution, meanwhile adding a base would increase the pH. In terms of the pH, an acidic substance would have a pH of less than 7, while a basic or alkaline substance would have a pH of more than 7 up to a pH of 14. In terms of the litmus paper test, remember BRA, BRA. If the substance turns blue litmus paper to red, then the substance is an acid. Question number 6. Gabe's car conked out in the middle of an expressway. He had to apply a force of 1,200 newtons to push the car 200 meters to the nearest gas station. Determine the work done on the car. A. 6 joules B. 1,200 joules C. 2,400 newton meters D. 240,000 joules The correct answer is letter D, 240,000 joules. So for this part, this is under physics. Recall that the formula for calculating or determining the work is uh, work is equal to force times distance. So in this case, the force applied is 1,200 newtons. Just multiply that with 200 meters for the distance. Then you get 240,000 newton meters. Newton meters also equal to joules. So the correct answer is D, 240,000 joules. Which of the following statements is correct? First statement is deposition and sublimation may involve chemical change. The second statement is oxidation is an example of a chemical reaction. For letter A, one only, B, two only, C, both one and two, and D, neither one nor two. The correct answer is letter B. Two only. For statement number one, deposition and sublimation are only physical changes. Deposition is a conversion from the gaseous state to the solid state, whereas sublimation is from solid to gas. For statement number two, oxidation is an example of a chemical reaction. Oxidation is a process when a reactant loses electrons during the reaction. Which of the following cellular organelles function in the modification, sorting, and packaging of proteins for secretion? A. Ribosomes B. Lysosomes C. Golgi apparatus D. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum The correct answer is letter C. So, review the parts of the cells. When we say organelles, these refer to the little organs in the cell. For ribosomes, these are the sites of the synthesis of proteins. In other words, proteins are manufactured in the ribosomes. However, these proteins are further modified, sorted, and packaged in the Golgi body or Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus resemble a sack of deflated balloons, and they are filled or they are packed with enzymes for the further processing of proteins. Meanwhile, the SER, which is short for smooth endoplasmic reticulum, functions in the construction of uh, carbohydrates and lipids. Lastly, lysosomes are small organelles that function in the disposal and recycling of macromolecules and uh, other wastes. Which of the following is a balanced chemical equation? The correct answer is letter D. So this is under chemistry. And for this part, we apply the law of conservation of mass and we have to have the same number of atoms for every element on each side of the equation. And it is only in D where you get the same number of atoms for every element on the reactant and on the product side. So note that there are two iron atoms on each side, six bromine atoms on each side, six um, hydrogen atoms on each side, three sulfur atoms, and 12 oxygen atoms on both sides. Question number 10. The scientific notation for 0.000000000106 km is A. 1.06 times 10 to the negative 9 km B. 0.106 times 10 to the negative 8 km C. 1.06 times 10 to the positive 9 km Letter D, 106 times 10 to the negative 11 kilometer. 
The correct answer is letter A. This is under general science. In writing in scientific notation, the first rule is to move the decimal place to the right or left to create a number from 1 up to 10. Next is we determine the exponent, which is just the number of times you move the decimal. So in this case, we move the decimal point 9 times and it was to the right. After that, we determine the sign of the exponent. Since this is a very small numerical value, we move the, again the decimal point to the right. Thus, the exponent would have a negative sign. So letter A is the correct answer. For question number 11, Thomas Edison, who many referred to as the inventor of light, said, I tested no fewer than 6,000 vegetable growths and ransacked the world for the most suitable filament material before he discovered tungsten as the filament for his light bulb. The scientific attitude manifested by Edison is A. Hard work B. Inventiveness C. Open-mindedness and D. Persistence The correct answer is letter D, so this uh, question is a bit uh, tricky. Um, a. Hard work may also be an answer, but if you look more closely, letter D would be the more appropriate answer. So if you encounter questions such as this, always choose the best answer. Question number 12. It is a division of the nervous system that is sometimes called the rest and digest system. It regulates sedentary activities such as digestion. A. Somatic nervous system B. Autonomic nervous system C. Sympathetic nervous system D. Parasympathetic nervous system The correct answer is letter D. So this is under biology. Note that the autonomic nervous system or the ANS includes both the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. So what's the difference between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems? The sympathetic nervous system is the one which is activated in the flight or fight response. Meanwhile, it is the parasympathetic nervous system which is uh, involved in the conservation of energy as it slows the heart rate it increases intestinal and gland activity and relaxes sphincter muscles in the gastrointestinal tract. Question number 13. Materials and heat circulate in the oceans because of currents which are brought about by A. Conduction B. Convection C. Insulation and D. Radiation The correct answer is letter B, convection. So while conduction, it's the transfer of the heat energy by direct contact. Convection is the type of heat transfer wherein there's the movement of heat by the actual motion of the matter. Radiation, meanwhile, is the transfer of energy with the help of electromagnetic waves. All right. Question number 14. So this is the second to the last question. According to Boyle's law, at constant temperature, the volume of a given mass of a dry gas is A. Is not related to its pressure B. Directly proportional to its pressure C. Inversely proportional to its pressure and D. Proportional to the square of its pressure The correct answer is letter C. Inversely proportional to its pressure So this is under chemistry and Boyle's law states that at constant temperature, the volume of a given mass of a dry gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. So the formula is P sub 1 multiplied by V sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 multiplied by V sub 2. This also means when we say inversely proportional that if you increase the pressure of the gas, then the volume of that given gas decreases. Question number 15. Speedy Toddler moves from her chair to the door in 15 seconds. Her speed changes from rest to 0.5 meter per second. What is the Speedy Toddler's average acceleration? A. 0.033 meter per second squared. B. 0.033 meter per second. C. 30 meters per second squared. And D. 0.5 meter per second.
The correct answer is a 0.033 meter per second squared. So here we're looking for the acceleration. This is under physics. And the formula for getting the acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. And the change in velocity or speed here is 0.5 meter per second since the toddler starts from rest. And the change in time is 15 seconds. So we just divide 0.5 meter per second with 15 seconds. We get 0.033 and the units is meter per second squared. So that's it for our first session. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell for updates. All right.